Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, back today with another impressions video. And this time we're talking about um, this game right here. This is X Troopers or EX Troopers if you read the English, but I don't I don't know why. It's E.X.Troopers, e which is EX Troopers, but the Japanese name is X Troopers and they refer to them that way in the game, so I will be referring to the game as X Troopers because that's the name. So <laughs> Anyway, X Troopers is, well, let's look at it first. This game is on the PS3, and you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at the cover, but it's actually a Lost Planet spin-off. And I say that because it ha the, the setting and the enemies are the same as Lost Planet. Uh, it's on Eden 3, which is the setting for Lost Planet 1 and 2. And you fight Acrid, you have the T-Energy, the thermal energy that you get from the A-Grid powering your health and I guess some mobile suits but um, you are there is a, lo a lot different in this game than there is in Lost Planet so let's let's talk about it here uh, first it's a Lost Planet spin-off but I'm not sure of when in the Lost Planet timeline it, ha it happens it seems like it happens before Lost Planet one or maybe in between one and two but it's hard to really say because there are snow pirates which i don't remember being the uh, in the first one no i mean not that there were none that there i don't remember the uh forest ones being there and the and the jungle ones being in there so and i know they were in two so it's possible that it's after one before two or maybe it's after two I don't even really know it's might it might just be like totally alternate timeline or something I don't know but it is part of the Lost Planet series so if you've played Lost Planet you'll recognize a lot of the enemies and the ways to beat them are the same as any other Lost Planet game so it's familiar but it's not the same so let me explain the system the system for this game is not the same as Lost Planet. Uh, the way you fight, the way you use guns, the way you use your grappling hook and all that, it's totally different. Uh, X Troopers here is, is really like uh, a really simplified version of Lost Planet. Like, it's it's way simpler than your regular Lost Planet game. The, it's been kind of... Mm, I don't want to say dumbed down. It's not dumb. It's it's just easy it's like if you had an easy input method for everything in Lost Planet that would be X Troopers I guess um, but what else is different about it it's got a totally different art style and a different kind of theme overall and I say that meaning the art style is a kind of cell shaded so it looks like an anime like you're playing an anime and it's it's not bad it, it looks like all the cutscenes in the game are done in these kind of like comic book panels, so it's supposed to be like a kind of a manga looking thing. You know, all the text bubbles are like a manga and the, you know, it's in panels like a comic book. So it's very comic booky. And the regular Lost Planet, the story is pretty serious. It's not like, um, it's nothing like this game. <laughs> this game is really jokey there's lots of jokes and there's lots of kind of anime cliche characters like your main character is blend and he's like a goofball i don't know <laughs> i don't explain it like he he's like super optimistic and and like kind of stupid but he's like overly excited to do everything so like you know, he kind of, in the beginning of the game, when you get there, he's kind of getting himself into these situations because he's, like, overly curious or overly excited to do things. So he gets in these bad situations. Like, he, he, you know, he initially gets, like, shot out into space because he's, like, not following orders by unbuckling from his uh, belt before uh, before they land, which is, like, a main part of the game, how he gets his his uh, mobile suit or whatever. But... You know, he lots of things happen. Like there's kind of a scenes where he gets put into these like special training courses because like he's imagining that because they happen on a beach. So he's imagining like, oh, I'll get to see the girls, the girls units in their in their bathing suits because it's a beach beach exercises. So he like 
joins the beach exercises, which are like these special, <laughs> like special ops training mi missions. And they're, you know, of course, none of the girls are in bathing suits. They're all in like armor and stuff, ready to fight. And he's like wearing a bathing suit. So you can tell it's kind of, it's goofy. It's goofy like an anime. And the characters, there's lots of kind of, you know, there's a character with super bad luck where everything bad happens to her. And like enemies, random enemies will show up around her. So she has super bad luck. And then there's like, uh, fat girl who really likes Blen and <laughs> wants to date him, tries to trick him into marrying him and stuff. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff like that in the game where it's just goofy and kind of jokey. But even then, the characters are likable. The characters you have to use and the characters in the game, like you have a rival, you have a, you know, your kind of goofy partner, um, you have a kind of, you know, I don't know, like, sexy anime girl friend or whatever. <laughs> They're all kind of like that, though. But, uh, generally this game is very much like an anime. It's like playing a Lost Planet anime that's goofy. And <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it. Which, you know, it's... I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's the kind of game where, pl throughout playing it, I enjoyed playing it. But... Uh, through, uh, I'm constantly thinking, who is the target for this game? Like, Lost Planet is really, like, a serious game. Like, when you play it, it's not jokey, and it's not, like... It's definitely more pointed towards, like, adults in the storyline. It's a very serious kind of sci science fiction story, whereas, like, EX Troopers or X Troopers is a... You know, it's goofy, and it seems like it's, like, more stilted towards, like young boys like 13 or something and it, it, you know it looks goofy like an anime and it's 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 not a it's not really a mystery as to why nobody bought this game <laughs> and i'm saying that i'm saying that not because it's a bad game but because it kind of doesn't overlap with the people who would want to play lost planet i think uh and i think it like a lot has to do with it this game is on the ps3 and it's on the 3DS, and I believe the 3DS one is the same as the PS3 game, so it's kind of, it's like a weird, weird port. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I assume the 3DS one is the port, but I might be wrong. But, um, you know, it seems like it's a strange audience, so it, the game kind of bombed horribly. Nobody bought it, and it didn't get bad reviews or anything. It didn't get, like, sparklingly good reviews, but it didn't get bad reviews. And it didn't get, like, panned. It's just nobody bought it. Because it doesn't have an audience, I think. Or it, it's not... It, it might have an audience, but it doesn't overlap with its existing Lost Planet audience. So, you know, it's kind of a um, strange game in that sense. But, you know, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's actually a pretty fun game. And it is a game that's easily playable without knowing Japanese, you can you could play through the whole game, and if you didn't really care what was happening in the story, you might be able to figure it out, but, I mean, you'd miss some some points in the story, obviously, but you probably, you probably get it just by looking at the comic panels and stuff and then playing through the game, which makes it easy. It's really cheap now, too. I think I got mine for about $20 new, so it's the kind of thing where it's easy, it's cheap and it's pretty fun, but there are some things I didn't like about it. First... The difficulty level on this game is ridiculously easy. Um, there's almost no point in the game where it felt even remotely challenged uh, until the almost the very end. And that was only on like special training missions that you can do that are optional. You have optional kind of virtual training missions, and almost all of them are easy, except that towards the end there are some that are more difficult. And I say that because it's hard to get like all the all this the uh special conditions cleared on them not to say that they're difficult to beat they're you can clear them no problem i think i, I don't think most people would have a trouble clearing them all in the first try they're really easy and even like the highest ranked ones like you could still clear it on your first try but you might miss one of the special conditions which is like as far as like the difficulty goes the special special conditions clearing them all on the some of the some of the final stages that are ranked the highest are is you know mildly difficult and not not like 
oh my god, this is this is actually hard, but just kind of difficult, which makes the game, you know, a little not as fun as it could be in the main story. And, you know, if you don't mind, you think like, oh, well, it's just kind of like a fun third-person shooter where I can run around and shoot giant bugs. Well, if you think about it that way, it's probably fun because it's not very challenging and you can just kind of relax and play through it. And that's all right. But in my case, like, I kind of was hoping for a bit of a challenge. Like, Lost Planet isn't the easiest game. Um, there are e It's pretty challenging in some spots, whereas this game didn't have that same level of challenge, even for, like, the, the final boss was ridiculously easy. So it's kind of not not the greatest for people who want to challenge but it does kind of remedy that after you beat the game which is <laughs> kind of like too late but you after you beat the game you can do a lot of things like play through the story missions again and what it does is it adds special conditions so you can play through all of them more than once i think there's it'll add special conditions but you can add special conditions to each story stage so like you'll go through and this time you can't take damage or this time you have to beat it in 30 seconds or you have to beat it in three minutes or something like that and that actually makes it more difficult but you know again it's it's just a special condition difficulty it's not like the actual stage is difficult like you'll be dying and you won't be able to to win it's the kind of thing where it's pretty hard to die in this game <laughs> like you know you get a lot of energy back from taking T energy from the enemies you kill and the enemies don't do a ton of damage no matter what they're hitting you with until like the very end where like they're calling down orbital strikes so like and unless you have that it's like most of the game is a pretty easy kind of walkthrough and how long did it take me it took about now i went like really into the all the virtual missions so i did all the virtual missions and i played through and i beat the game and i've done a bunch of the after game stuff too and i played about 25 hours to do that you could probably beat it in less time than that if you just played the story didn't play the virtual missions and you just played the story you could probably beat it in 10 hours 15 hours maybe um but you'll you know you want to do those virtual missions because they give you bonus experience and bonus money so you can upgrade your weapons but that's about it um the game is I don't really know <laughs> I don't I don't know if I would recommend it to people uh, who are fans of Lost Planet if you're a fan of Lost Planet you might not like it you might uh, think it's not Lost Planet and it doesn't feel like Lost Planet besides like the setting and the enemies like the tone is totally different but if you like kind of you know simple but fun third-person shooters not a cover-based third-person shooter it's just like an action-based third-person shooter um, it's pretty fun and it's cheap so if you're kind of like on the edge about it I'd probably pick it up if it's you know twenty dollars or so it's not that bad and um, you know if you're you know not sure or you feel like you're not a fan of first person uh, third person shooters or you're not a fan of like kind of easier easier games then maybe you want to pass on X Troopers but I don't know, that's about it. That's about all I have to say about this game, so I guess I will talk to you guys next time.